this is Genosis with episode 6 of Navisgain Nomad. Alright, I know it's a little early, a little before morning starts, but I want to get a jump on it because I've done all I can do indoors and I want to go start exploring again. Now, let's take a look at the map. Um, I, I'm still digging this system. I know either actually some people would do would put a block in front of the place you've looted in order to kind of mark it uh, that way. And, and these markers obviously will clutter up the map, but I can quickly just go bam, 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 bam and just clear it up. But this gives me a nice top-down view of everything that I've looted. And yeah, I've actually got a good chunk, like well over a quarter of, of Dyersville um, done, maybe a third of it. So we still got a few to do. So uh, we're right here. I guess what we could do is either start in this street or finish this street. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this street and uh, continue working on that. Uh, I also uh, put together the resources I need for another dew collector. I was going to get a, an iron uh, pickaxe, but um, I'm behind on getting water, and this will help me get it faster. So now that I've doubled my water production. And other than that, oh, I also made some uh, iron um, bolts by making some of the uh, arrowheads here, which I can just uh, throw in here. And then if I need some more bolts, I can just uh, craft them whenever I get the resource. I think I'm out of feathers. But yeah, I think 69, well, 70, but still, 69 is a nice, nice amount of bolts. So anyway, let's get the uh, this whole day started. Chimes about to start the sound off. And let's get to our first POI. I just wanted to hear that sound. It's so chill. All right, this is going to be a quick one. It's probably an, an yeah, it's um, it's a remnant. So this barely counts. This uh, this will be nothing. Ooh, lucky looter. Buy more medical medical supplies. And the Hunter's Mod. Yeah, so this is Remnant, which means there's very minimal amounts of zombies. And also minimum amount of loot. But there's probably something in here worth finding. And those uh, duds I've been getting on the crossbow is really kind of annoying. I don't recall it ever happening on the crossbow. I remember it happening on the primitive bow all the time. But never the crossbow. So I guess uh, I'm going to look forward to... Getting a different bow. What's going on here? Someone trying to bang their way on inside, but that's fine. I don't... What is that? Oh, hey. Cheeky little weapons bag right there. Uh, let's see. Knife guy. Love that. So, an extra Molotov. Perfect. And hi! Oh, you were upstairs. That's where I was hearing the banging from. All right. There's like next to nothing. Oh, I think I get the sh running bug. See, see, the icon says I'm running, but I'm not. Um, I have to like... No. Um, control, no. Crouch again, no. There we go. I had to uh, crouch and then uncrouch in order to clear it. That was a weird little, weird little bugs here and there. Something I'm also uh, trying to pay attention to is getting cloth. Is that duct tape used to take like one cloth, now it takes like seven. And uh, I've been playing a little bit on the side, and I've been noticing that keeping up with cloth is actually kind of hard. Like, it's uh, it was almost to the point that uh, you have to... Um, have a, uh, what do you call it, a farm to grow cotton to actually keep up with it. And before, who needed to grow cotton? Like, you just needed loot. So it's kind of an interesting uh, change. Hey, scavenger's hat. All right, so salvaging XP gain. That's interesting. I think that's one that Daphne has on her playthrough. I mean, I'll keep the, the nomad, I, nomad hat I have, but still kind of cool. But yeah, I won't be using that. All right, I think we're actually done. There was like next to nothing this place. Uh, get some cloth, a few odds and ends. But um, very little. But that's cool. That means we can knock another building out even quicker. And we'll move on to the next one. Oh, vehicle book. Love that. That's actually going fairly well. We got a tire, some gas. Who puts a washing machine out here? I'm sure it's just like a, like a moving thing or a yard sale thing. I don't know what the hell that's for. Uh, what's up here? Oh, interesting little... Uh, no, you can almost get that way. All right. So all I wanted to do is check out what was left in this place. On to the next house. All right, knife guy book. Getting the, lots of that, which is nice. All right, let's uh, dump some stuff into the bike and then get through this next place. All right, this is a tier two. So the T Thornberry residence. Let's uh, find out where the intended entry point is. I don't want to miss anything. All right, because we're going up through here. Ooh, love seeing a cooler that you can loot. Ah, nothing much. Okay. Let's uh, get this place started. All right, so it's gonna get through here. Now, um, it's also another mod I've installed um, when I was looking around for the Crafting From Containers mod. Another one that caught my eye 
is one that allows you to keep um, bags longer when you're fighting the Horde Knight. So that is also linked in the description of this video and the one before it. It's, um, gosh, what's it called? A longer Zombie Loot or something like it's called. I got it off of ZombieMods.com. Again, there's a link in the description. And uh, that way, the uh, bags that you're looting, you're getting from the loot over Horde Knight, won't go poof. And that is frustrating because it's half the uh, benefit to ride the Horde Knight is get all that loot at the end, which is very satisfying. I miss. You can pick up the head and throw it around. That'd be fun. All right, I guess we're going through here. That's weird. I remember... I remember this POI now, but that the way you came in through was different. And there was a zombie right here in this little closet. So I'm glad they removed that because that one always kind of nipped at me when I tried to get through here. <laughs> 6.5 times damage. Love that. So if you can, you know, that would be a fun playthrough going full rogue, full assassin and uh, trying to get by with a knife. It's, uh, I mean, bow hits and all that are great, but those knife kills, those are, uh, that's a lot of damage. I guess we're going downstairs, like up and down, up and down. Oh, is that already? Oh, ammo pile. Almost missed it because I was crouching. All right, now let's get through here. Again, I'd expect too much more. Uh-oh. There's going to be some boom, boom booms. Out. that rocked me a little bit. <laughs> I knew that was going to come. I, it seems like the fun pimps, and I've noticed this a few times, will uh, put... Uh, zombies on landmines just for the explosive explosive effect. You know what? It's a nice touch. I dig it. Ooh, urban combat. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. That's good news. That is most recently uh, good news. It was uh, very comical or ironic that that happened to be the one that we found. Ooh, that was a sham shouter. Nice. I'm a little too full for that right now, which is a good a good problem to have. But I'm glad I have more than enough food to uh, probably get me through today because of that. All right, so yeah, in theory, that shouldn't kill. I'm not going to step on. I'm not going to welcome uh, danger. But uh, it's kind of nice to be able just to step on if I need to or if I accidentally step on. I'm just kind of like, whoops, didn't kill me. All right, into the basement. Oh, there's someone going to be there probably. Yep. Boop. All right, I think we're near the end here. Um, I think there's some zombies on the other side of the wall. Just need to... Close enough to get a shot right there. Oh, didn't get the sneak kill, but I got the, uh, not sneak kill. Oh. Did I wake someone up? Oh, this must be the end loot right here. Right there. Okay, here we go. That's fine. Are you kidding me? Sorry, I had to stab you in the boo, but uh, it was a—it uh, was either you or me. All right, so I guess that makes us done. Let's go ahead and grab the loot, and we get hey, there's a nerd goggles XP gain. That is tempting. All right, so let me do some inventory management, but uh, let's go ahead and grab what's in here as well. Brawling book and some drugs, and another brawling book uh, which I don't need. And man, uh, yeah, definitely getting to the point. I am full, unable to get more things. <sighs> I know there's a gun safe here, the gun safe here, so uh, maybe I'll just uh, put um, gun safe there as well. We'll come back and bang them once we get uh, a friggin' uh, what do you call it? The thing. Ah, that's leather. No, candle clip. Uh, once we get uh, a proper pickaxe. Gosh, what am I going to drop here? Am I going to keep this? Probably not. This is just XP gain. Yeah, no, we're just going to scrap that. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go home. I'm I'm well overdue to get the clean out. Oh, this guy gave us a little bit of a loot bag on the way out. Yucca juice. I will just suck that back right away. All right, once again, to home. And having two POIs clear uh, by 8.30 in the morning, not shabby. Now, the hospital, that's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> At least half of a day. I don't know sure if I'm going to have time for it, but... Um, We'll get the rest of the... We'll do this. We'll do that last. All right, back home and I'm going to empty out nice and quick. I'm not going to pay too much attention to what I'm putting in here. I'm just trying to get it all out and get out of here. All right, I still got uh, coffee and a sham chowder, so I'm good for food. And yeah, this the these two rows of, of houses are done. Let's actually go down here and get these three. And then uh, I think that'll be a good chunk to have done. All right, this place is probably a remnant. Yeah. 
Dave's Manor. So this is going to be nice and quick. Let's maybe not sneak so much. Just, uh, just brute force it. And POI clear. Yeah, that was that was nothing. That was fine. Uh, retracting mod schematic. Uh, another vehicle book. I am so thankful they're giving me the vehicle books. Uh, isn't it 10 that gives me the bicycle? Or I already have the bicycle. So what gives you the mini bike? Is it 20? I don't know. Uh, wait, I have points to spend, don't I? All right, you know what? I'm going to do something not recommended, and I'm just going to go further. Just further grease monkey. I want, I want a mini bike as soon as possible. Uh, that will give me a greater chance to get vehicle books and allow me to uh, fix vehicles easier and also use less components for crafting a mini bike. And once I get the vehicles I want crafted, or get, or at least once I get my uh, vehicle magazines maxed out, I think I'm going to respect and remove the perk because those are five points that you don't really need after you make the vehicles. Yes, there is the benefit to using less repair kits to fix your vehicle up, but who cares about using extra repair kits? Like, so what if it takes, you know, five repair kits instead of two or three to repair your vehicle? It's just a little bit of extra resources that you can get pretty much any other way. Oh, a bag right there. Yeah, another tools digest. Very nice. 28 out of 100. That's actually pretty good. All right. Kitchen is clear. That room is nothing in there. All clear. All right. Remnant done. Chalk up another completion for today. All right, this one looks like a proper POI. The D. Smith Residence, another tier three. Got Shotgun Messiah. You know, shotguns might actually be fun. Um, let's see, knives, bows, and shotguns. Yeah, I could, I could roll with that. Let's go ahead and check the garage before we get started. Oh, this is, wait, this looks familiar, but this looks like a different POI. How many POIs start this way? Yeah, this looks like another POI, or there are the buildings there, there's a door, and then there's a ladder that leads up to an attic, and there's a bunch of um, bookcases. Yeah, this looks exactly like that POI entrance. But, yeah, no, it's different. Yeah, a little weird. Yeah, we got Fury's Fists, and ooh, jar honey and steroids. No, I'm going to try something different. Uh, let's try uh, just speed running the place, and then double backing doing the loot like I usually do. So, uh, yeah, let's try that out, see how that goes. does it this looks like the end loot anyways man i was having a rough time getting those hits and i couldn't tell if it was uh like the bug that was getting me or if my aim was just crap like a couple times definitely it was my aim but that last one no way i had a dead to rights in my sights and just nothing nothing was landed is there is that the, all the loots in here or is there more over here all right, let's just get this uh, chest open. It sucks I don't have any repair kits, but gotta do what you gotta do. 
There we go. Chest open. That always takes a while. So armored up. Love it. Uh, structural brace, pipe rifle, all good things. Um, I'm going to need to double back and get the, uh, the rest of the loot. But are we actually done? Did I come through here? I might have come through here. Yeah, I definitely came through here. All right, let's gonna start by going through the place one more time. This is the beginning, and uh, we're gonna grab all the loot worth grabbing, and then uh, get to move on. All right, we're gonna start uh, talking about loot here because I am full. So there is a cooking book, a seed book, blueberry and hops, very nice. Tactical warfare, which I believe is the um, assault rifle. Yeah, pipe machine gun. Uh, machine gun is another thing. That's uh, I I think I'm maybe not gonna go SMG. Might just go uh, shotgun to go with the strength. Because uh, I've been going heavy into strength because of the uh, the digging. I like to do digging. And I'll be going that for heavy armor as well. Hey, first aid bandages. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do shotgun. I, I can't remember the last time I've done shotgun in a playthrough. Actually, barrel extended. That's pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, I think I just might just might do that. All right, we are done. Just kind of looped all the way around. Let's grab to my bike and do an unload because I am full to the run. I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, okay, glad I didn't. Yeah, we're about done. Okay, we got a water here, water there. Very nice. Uh, may want to start boiling that up. Even get myself a pickaxe. Yeah, I got 10. That's actually pretty good. So let's... Actually, you know what? I didn't need to... Didn't need to pick that up. Let me stash first. There we go. And then get this queued up. Give me all of that water. Need eight minutes of fuel. Don't like that sound. All right, I think we're hungry enough to eat the sham chowder. All right, that's going to be cooked up. And that's going to be 10 minutes. Like, that's... Uh, it's almost a POI clear, depending on what we do. All right, so we just cleared that. All right, uh, we have one more here, and then we just have that one row of houses left. And again, it's only like almost 2, p 2 p.m., so we're, we're making pretty good time on all these clears. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, the lemon residence. So it's another, uh, another remnant. So this will be another quickie, which I, you know, if mood strikes, I don't mind. All right, so let's get on in here. Cool. All right, I'm just going to start by clearing out the kitchen. Let's uh, do room by room this time. All right, this is all looted up, and we got ourselves another cooking book. Love that. So I guess the good thing about looting through Dyersville and going through like a residential area like this, we're getting all kinds of cookbooks. Um, I wasn't on a zombie yet. Yeah, all kinds of cookbooks. So that's going to uh, beef that up nice and quick. All right, we've got a medical journal, and we can actually make ourselves... Um, the uh, first aid bandage, once we get uh, an actual bandage. I don't have any cloth, do I? No. But yeah, it's cool that we can uh, start making that. Whoa. Why would that... Alright. Okay, bow hunter's book, so primitive bow 5. Still working on catching up to my, uh, my early find. Alright, now to go upstairs. All right, so there must be a zombie up here, because otherwise this place has been completely devoid of any opposition. Hello? Anybody? Oh, there's a friggin' gun safe in here. Ooh, and a vehicle book. Man, just, uh, <laughs> just another gun safe. X gun safe. Yeah, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have a good time with that pickaxe when I get it. Um, I think a horde just found me. Okay, what is going on? down here. Yeah, I think we're being raided. Hello. All right, one at a time, fellas. That was a, that was quite a pile of them. Grab some arrows back. Stay right there. Okay, did that fire or did that not fire? Just, um, oh, you son of a bitch. Stop popping, you fool. All right. All right, I think I got the, everything cleared as I went through it. So I think we're, yeah, we're good. 
little quickie. All right, home yet again to uh, do my collection. Now, if uh, that water is done, yeah, most of it is. So let's just do a quick stash of Rooney. All right, so we need an iron pickaxe. So we need 13 more forged iron. Got that. And I don't want to do a legendary one because that's silly. Uh, so I just need four duct tape. I didn't even need to craft the glue. I already had the duct tape. So yeah, we need tier five. Uh, tier six will be reserved. See the uh, tier six will be reserved for steel. There. All right, so that's on the way. So man, I guess we can go ahead and start on the top row. There's six more houses, and then uh, no, Dyersville pretty much done, minus the hospital. Well, I can already tell this one's not going to take long. All right, we're here at the Splinter residence, and um, <laughs> yeah, there's not much to it. All right, looks like we got a safe right here, and uh. It's going to take a little bit, but may as well. All right, so I did the save. I had to finish up with the uh, wrench because my stone axe broke. And uh, my queue is a little tied up right now. So that, that'll be fine. Still got another minute before I get my uh, um, get my pickaxe. And then we'll get ourselves a fire axe. Knife guy, yeah, we're getting a fair bit of those. Oh, um, hi. All right. Didn't expect to find a zombie in here. Heck, the other place didn't have any zombies at all, and uh, there's more to that. All right, getting up here. Oh, I see a weapons bag. Nice. Uh, pipe machine gun. Wait, I already have one, don't I? Because I think I'll be using that for horde. Because that's any other option that really wouldn't make much sense. All right, is there anything? Oh, munitions box. Ha 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 ha. Well, that was a lot of bullets. Holy crap. 66762. That is insane. So I knew there had to be something over here because this there's wouldn't be over here for nothing. Yeah, that is awesome. Can I take that, take that apart? Okay, there's the pickaxes ready. And there's some, a little bit of steel, a little bit of iron for my trouble. All right, so we got ourselves the pickaxe now. I thought I saw... Yeah, I'm going to get the iron breaker out of here. All right, arm breaker and structural brace. Um, I don't think there's another good one to use. Maybe back at the base I'll have something. But you know what? Now I could, I might want to do the run of getting those uh, those uh, gun safes. Or maybe I'll do that overnight. I, I know I want to have it on camera, so probably should just do it now. So I believe there's one right below me. All right, I remember this POI. Let me just run straight in and grab it. All right, take a little drink of coffee to get started. All right, let's see how fast this goes. Yeah, much better. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ugh, not great. Uh, could I put a point into Miner 69 or no, not quite. Mother load, maybe. I want to put stuff in Boomstick. Maybe I'll wait until after the Horde. So uh, I think it might be time to start working on strength, perhaps. All right, with that done, let's get out of here. All right, we're at the other place that has the gun safe. Just need to uh, find out where it was. I remember it being maybe in a closet or... Somewhere. Yeah, closet on the second floor. There we go. All right, let's have at it. All right, another gun safe open. Give me something awesome. Uh, pipe bombs. All right, uh, I mean, don't expect a lot from gun safes at this, uh, this loot stage, but uh, something would be nice. All right, should be one more, and then we get the, all the gun safes cleared. Now, thinking um, I'm probably not going to get to the hospital, at least yet i mean i i'm not going to be able i'm not going to restrict myself from crossing biomes to do a particular poi but i don't foresee myself getting to this one. Oh god it's tier five yeah yeah that's uh, i'm not geared for that so uh i think what i'd like to do is maybe get uh bob's boars uh on the way home tomorrow so i'll get up in the morning um, i'll probably spend the night uh bringing all the loot back to base and then um yeah, then maybe what I'll do first thing in the morning is get Bob's bores done. Because I want to start... Is it this, this, the basement? I think it's the basement. Yeah, I want to start uh, growing crops and whatnot. And super corn is an important crop. And I'll have access to it earlier than I tend to do other playthroughs. Alright, that's another one open. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, okay. Yeah, Poe Hunters, a rad remover, and a pipe rifle. Not interested in the pipe rifle. That is... Uh, Slowest firing weapon in the world. <laughs> so I will not be using that for Horde. All right. So uh, we still have a couple hours, so I could probably get another POI in. We're already pretty full. I can probably clear up a few things. 
All right, we may as well hit, I guess, the nearest house here. And then I'll, that might, I'll probably end up calling us a day after that. Um, this is probably not a remnant. I think I know which place this is. Okay, I think I, this is one of the car crash through it. Uh, yep, yeah, most definitely is the one with the car through it. I think I think I actually lived here on the stream on my first uh, look through uh, with 1.0. All right, I'm just going to uh, fall for the fall trap, I guess. Let's make sure I'm ready this time. Now, there's usually enough zombies that should warrant... You know what? Just whatever. There, that'll help. That'll help the fight. I'm not going to fall for those traps, though. Take control of the situation. Because last time, I had a bad time. <laughs> but this time, you guys are toast. Somewhat literally. Oh! <laughs> no! What is even happening here? Okay. Alright, let's go double back here a bit, because there's uh, something I would like... Can I... There we go. Get out of here. So right behind this wood pile is a hidden stash. Give me something good if you don't mind. Ugh. I find the hidden stashes uh, and the quest rewards uh, in this this version of uh, Seven Days to Die has been kind of underwhelming. I, know, I haven't really been getting a lot of great stuff. All right, it's time to ascend up the stairs. And yeah, under there, you can see where the hidden stash was. A little hint, because that is relatively hard to get. Yeah, I remember the spot here. The zombies got through here. They climbed up the ladder, and they busted through there to get to the stairs up to my base. So that was a tricky little spot I had to fix. Hello, miss. <laughs> oh, we got a commando helmet. Stun resist. Yeah, that's going to be another no. But hey, another armor part for later. All right, so I've been flying through these POIs today. And this is a good one to end it on. So we're almost to the uh, yeah, the end stash right here. Sometimes there's a zombie in that corner. And that day is not today. All right, Knuckles parts. And I'm just going to run over this. And get to the loot. All right, medical stuff. Two, two pieces of paper for a medical pile. That's pretty rotten. Whatever's in here. Uh, Raider helmet. Ooh, aerial. Exploding crossbows and bolts. Love that. And uh, this one was what? Stun resist again. But look at that. <laughs> Praise the sun. And a Savage Country box with some bow parts. Love that. All right, so I'm going to do a little sneaky deaky here. One. Two. And three. Miss, you're going to get the shaft at the end. Oh. All right, I think that is uh, the loot for the place, which was uh, honestly a lot faster than I thought that was going to be. All right, I think we can uh, get our butts back home and see if we can uh, get some stuff together for uh, for some iron tools. And then I think I need to start planning on my transfer back to my main base. Well, main base for one more day after the horde tomorrow. Assume uh, we're going to survive. We'll we'll be fine. We'll survive it. Then uh, after that horde, we're going to move into the uh, the um, burnt forest biome and uh, work with Jen from here on out and start a quest with her. In order for us to get an axe, I'm going to need some more iron. So is there an iron node nearby? I am actually probably have some stuff stashed back at home, so... Maybe what I should be doing is just emptying the forge out. Uh, that's going to need... Yeah, I'll throw the iron in, melt all that up, spit it out as uh, forged iron. But uh, I could probably start making runs back home right now. I uh, probably don't need the cooking pot. I'll take it with me anyways. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to take me all night to get that stuff back and forth. And then I'll, uh, I'll get these picked up. Uh, these are almost due for a collection. Yeah, I'll get that on. I'll get that back on the pickup. But yeah, that's it for me tonight. Tomorrow was horde, and I'm probably going to end up doing it with this pipe machine gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm fairly certain I have enough bullets. I'm going to see if I can get enough Molotovs uh, together. Um, I'm maybe I'll, you know, I'll definitely going to do the POI, the um, Bob's Boars tomorrow as well, so we can get the, the super corn and then leave the biome for the near future. All right, this has been Genosis, episode six of Navisgain Nomad. If like we saw here today, like the video. I'd like to see some more in the future. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and catch us tomorrow where we do Horde Night and find some way to survive that hole in the ground that we call a base. Stay tuned.